Let's solve the three sub-questions one by one. The first sub-question, weight we know for now, all the weight equal 0 0.5. And equations, we have two. The first one is to calculate all the z value for each class. And the second one, uh -huh. and the second one is um, this guy the activation function of softmax to calculate probabilities for each class. Okay, so the second sub-question we have, the length value 4.5, x1 4.5, and uh, width 1.6, so x2 1.6. And all the weight value don't change, and uh, we we can calculate the z value for each class. So we could start from z1. Z1 is the red guy, the Sentosa. So we start from the weight of of the guys. So W01, and then W11 X1. And then W21 X2. So 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 1.6. And then we get 3.55. So our blue guy, let's look around the blue guy. So the weight of the band W02 and then W12 X1 W22 X2. Okay, so all the variables here are same. So we got the same result 3.55 and then the blue guy is at 3. Start from W03 and then W13X1, W23X2. So, same. 3.55 because all the value here, same as that one. So, we can use the, um, the third step, uh, this, this formula to calculate the probabilities of each class. So start from P1, P1 in this case is Z1 and then here is E to the power of Z1 and E to the power of Z2 and E to the power of Z3. So for this we get mm -hmm. So e to the power of z1 in this case 0 0.55 e to the power of 0 0.55 same same as z2 and z3 so obviously we have the result 1 over 3 same as p2 and p3 because all this is that we sell our thing. So the conclusion is P1 equals P2 and equals P3. They are all same. So we could not get the result of classification based on uh, the all same probability. So let's look around the third sub-question. So all the blue to one. The weight relate to the class blue to one and keep all other weights 0 0.5. So we get we also start from Z1. Z1 you can see from here doesn't change at all. So result should be same 3.55. Z2 same thing. Z2. Z2, same, because it doesn't change. 
same result. And if that's three, this guy changed for now. Yep. So all the weights are one. So one plus one, four point five, plus one, one point six. So we got six point one. Right. We got six point one. And then we calculate E Z one. Oh E Z one equals to E three point five five equals to okay. So same as Z two E three point five five so and our blue guy Z <laughs> e to the power of Z three e to the power of Z three e to the power of six point one and then we got we got say four four five point eighty six <clears throat> so it means this guy the e z one e to the power of seven e to the power of z two e to the power of z three equals two plus two we have two of that value and four four five point eighty six so we have one uh five one five point forty eight so we got this value now right now we can calculate the probability of each class so p1 equals to um, this guy so i see 34.81 over over him so Mm -hmm. So six point seventy five percent, and then the P two, same thing here. So thirty four point eight one over over this guy five one five point four eight one hundred percent. So six point seventy five percent, and then we have our blue blue guy. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so E four four five point this guy over. So the result is 86.49. So from here we can see P3 large than greater greater than P2 and P2 equals P1. So we got this. So from here we can see the result the Classification results should be our P3. Yeah, we got it.